Welcome to this video about a topic which I get asked about quite often in the comments. I'm Maximilian and in this video I'll dive into the question single page applications versus multi page applications or MVC model view controller applications. Which approach should you choose and when should you choose it? Let's have a look. So that's a question I get quite a lot. Should you create a single page application, use a framework like Angular for that, or should you create a multi page application, for example, with Node Express or with Laravel for PHP? And I often sometimes see the comparison single page application versus MVC, Model View Controller. Now, that comparison to begin with that isn't super accurate because model view controller is more or is a pattern where you basically get a get a clear approach on how to structure your files, structure your project and make sure that you split the responsibilities of your app in a certain way. Now that is not necessarily the opposite of a single page application. So I like to compare single page versus multi page applications. But let's first have a look at what is each of these two things. How do we see or how do we recognize what is a single page application and what is a multi page application? Let's have a look. Here's the website of the New York Times. Obviously, a news page, a page living off presenting news which people read, so articles which people read. I can tell you the New York Times page is a multi page application. How can you see that? Let's click an article and watch this reload icon here in the top left of my browser. You see how it becomes an X? That is because my browser is now reaching out to the server of the New York Times and fetching that article and all the resources needed for that article. Resources would be images, but of course also CSS or JavaScript. Because there is JavaScript on this page too. If I expand this for example, that's handled via JavaScript. So one thing which is sometimes perceived in an incorrect way is that single page applications would use JavaScript and multi page applications would not. That is incorrect. A multi page application is what we well the only thing we created a couple of years ago basically and obviously we did use JavaScript there too. The interesting thing about a multi page application is that if we open the developer tools and go to the network tab that indeed every new page we fetch is downloaded. That is why you see if I click on the main page, we get a couple of downloads, all the images, everything. But if you closely watch this section here on the right and I click on this article again, well now it is downloaded again. So here we fetch a brand new page with different assets. This is the interesting part or that is what happens in a multi page application. Every request we send to the server. So whenever we type a new URL or click on a link, leads to a new page being sent back from the server. Now that could be a pure HTML page and a couple of assets used in a page like CSS and JavaScript and that would still be a multi page application. And then we would get different HTML pages for different URLs we enter. Or the server is using some server side language like PHP or node and renders this HTML page on the server again. So for example, when using Laravel, it could use the blade templating engine Laravel ships with to render a HTML file, which it sends back. The core takeaway is that we always get a new file for every request. That's a multi page application. The whole website, the New York Times website here consists of multiple pages, which we download when we visit different parts of the page. Now the opposite would be the angular.io page, the official page of the angular framework. But of course, there are way more single page applications than just this one. Now this is a single page application. And the quickest way to tell is if you click on something, let's say on the docs, watch again this reload icon. You see that it didn't spin at all. Same for resources. No matter what I click here, most links or probably all links here will not trigger a page reload or will not trigger a new page being fetched from the server. Instead, we can see what happens if we inspect this page too and go to the elements tab. Now let's expand this and let's now expand this AIO shell here. If I now go back to getting started, you see a bunch of the parts here was re rendered, a bunch of the web page was re rendered. And the same if I go to tutorial here and click on introduction. Again, parts of the page were re rendered. 
And that is what a single page application does. We only get one page, one from the server, only one. There will never be a second page we fetch, no matter where we click. Instead, this one page also downloads a bunch of assets, CSS, images, but typically also a lot of JavaScript because it's then this JavaScript code which will listen to URL changes, to clicks on links, and will then re-render parts of the DOM in the loaded page. Whenever we need to do something, whenever we, for example, switch the page by clicking a link, keep in mind, we don't switch it, we just change parts of the page. So JavaScript listens to that, for example, and then re-renders parts of the DOM. Now you could write all the logic on your own. Typically though, you use a framework like Angular, React, Vue, to do that so that you have some helpers in this task of re-rendering the DOM, listening to route changes and so on. That is a single page application. And one big advantage you can already see here is that it's super fast. Whenever we click somewhere, things happen instantly. We're instantly taken there. That's like the feeling we know from mobile or desktop apps. There also, when we click somewhere, things happen super fast because even if we need to load some data from the server again, and that certainly is also the case for single page applications, if we need to fetch some user or some article data, that happens behind the scenes. So the application, this website, still reaches out to the server more than once. That is not the thing, but it will never get a new HTML file back. It will only get some typically JSON data, which JavaScript then again can handle to parse it and well render something on the page. And whilst it is doing so, we might see a spinner. So that is how it works. We never load new pages, only data. And therefore for the user, it always feels like the pages instantly change. Even if we need to wait for data, then we present some nice spinner. And that is the improved user experience of a single page application. Now, with that, that leads us to the question, is a single page application always better than a multi-page application? The answer is no. Let's compare some advantages and disadvantages of both approaches. Let's start with the single page application. There we have this highly reactive behavior as a huge advantage. This behavior, which feels like a mobile or a desktop app where we click somewhere, things happen instantly. We never have to wait or it doesn't feel like waiting. That is a huge advantage and the reason, the major reason why single page applications are so popular these days. A lot of the typical business applications running in the browser like Slack or Google AdSense, for example, use single page applications because even though it runs in the browser, it is like a desktop app, right? If you use Slack, for example, it really feels like a desktop app. And yes, there is a desktop app available too. But the thing is in the browser, it is a single page application because things happen super fast and we want that behavior in a lot of apps. We also have a decoupled front end. That's another advantage. If you're creating a single page application, you don't need to write any server side code. Typically in bigger developer teams, you have some guys focusing on the back end, on the server side code, and they will create an API to which you can reach out from your single page application, from your front end. So in Angular, for example, you have the Angular HTTP service to send requests to the back end, and you don't need to worry about the back end. You will know where to send the request to and which kind of data you can expect to get back. And you can focus on the front end, on the, on the JavaScript code, obviously, on writing your logic on the front end, but also on the styling, the structure. You have a decoupled front end and that can make it much easier to work on that page. There are, of course, some other advantages you could list. A bigger disadvantage though is that search engine optimization can be challenging. There are tools and actually innovation there is rapid. So a lot of new things are coming up every day actually when it comes to this. But right now it still is kind of complicated or at least takes quite some advanced knowledge to make your single page application super SEO friendly. Because crawlers like the Google bot can parse JavaScript and can understand your page even if you render it with JavaScript. But they have big problems if you're loading the content asynchronously. And that happens a lot on single page applications. That's this spinner thing, right? We visit a page and that page loads instantly. Keep in mind, we don't really visit a new page, just some parts of the DOM change. And to the crawler, everything is done at this point. The crawler doesn't know 
there is more data to arrive and that this data will eventually be rendered on the page. So to the crawler, if you're loading a list of blog articles, the crawler might just see the spinner. And that of course, eh, does really miss the point of search engine optimization. So that's challenging, there are tools, but it uh, requires advanced knowledge most of the time. Now, another disadvantage could be that you absolutely require JavaScript. Now, obviously, most people have that turned on, but a single page application just can't run without JavaScript. Everything happens through JavaScript. Everything gets re-rendered through JavaScript. If it's turned off, your page won't work at all. Another thing, which is not necessarily a disadvantage, but also important to mention, is that single page applications tend to favor more modern browsers. Now, support for older browsers isn't that bad, but typically you won't see Internet Explorer 8 support in a single page application. If you need that is a different story, but if you want to optimize for as many browsers as possible, you can also hit limits when creating a single page application. On the other hand, the focus on at least a little bit more modern browsers gives you way more tools and things you can do with your application. That's why it's not necessarily a disadvantage. What about a multi-page application then? Their search engine optimization is a big advantage, obviously. Since you get a brand new page, which already holds the finished content for every request, the user sees what the crawler sees and therefore your, your search engine crawlers will really fetch what is on your page and that makes search engine optimization way easier. Another advantage in my opinion is that, well, we only built multi-page applications until a couple of years ago and still today the majority of the web pages are multi-page applications. Hence, there are a lot of best practices, approaches, examples, tutorials, solutions, frameworks, which embrace that concept, right? Which allow you to create multi-page applications. And therefore it might be much easier, especially as a new developer, to get into creating web pages when working with this multi-page application approach. There are things which are simply easier because you got more resources to learn them. That shouldn't of course not be the um, final criteria on which you decide what you want to build, but it is a criteria in the end because if things are easier to learn, use and well, create great and secure applications with, that is definitely noteworthy. There are disadvantages too. Basically the opposite of the advantages of the single page application you could say. We have slower pages in that we need to fetch new pages for every request. We have to wait for that. Now if your server is slow, your application is slow. And even though you still would have to wait for data to be fetched in a single page application too, there you at least see a spinner and the majority of the page was loaded. On a multi-page application, nothing is loaded if you visit a new page. And that can lead to a worse user experience because you constantly have to wait for the whole page to load. Not an absolute nightmare, of course, but definitely a worse user experience than in single page applications. And we have a tighter coupling of front end and back end. Since your server is the one sending the HTML pages or the server side rendered pages, you typically will have one process or one bigger project where you have the server side logic, for example, in your controllers and your models. And then you have the views, and yes, obviously the views would be created by front-end developers, but they still need to be aware of the server-side environment you're working in, the server-side language which will render the views in the end. And that is certainly not impossible to handle, but might be a disadvantage, might be easier in a single page application. You can just hire an Angular expert and let him create the application for you and you can use your PHP Laravel backend and your Angular expert doesn't have to think about the connection of the two at all. Now, on the other hand, or just like on the single page application case, there is one neutral point in my opinion Multi-page applications tend to have a better support for legacy browsers because they not depend on JavaScript as much. They certainly use it to enhance the individual pages, to add some reactive elements to them. 
but they're not as dependent as single page applications. And for that reason, they typically support more browsers, which might matter to you too. So that's my comparison. Of course, basically my opinion or what I find to be important, please let me know in the comment section what you think about it, which other things matter to you, which other advantages do you see for single page or multi page applications. And in case you're now wondering, well, what should I choose? It really depends on your project. Here are some points, probably more points to be found in the comment section. There is no super right or super wrong here. Typically, if search engine optimization is super important to you, right now you still might want to pick a multi-page application. If you're creating more like an in-browser business application like Slack or something like that, a single page application might be a great uh, solution for you. I hope this video was helpful and hopefully see you in future videos. Bye.